Hey everyone, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Today I want to bring you a couple of tips for reading weather information and METARs that you're going to need to know for your FAA Part 107 test and just if you're interested in weather reports in general. All right, so welcome back. So today we're going to talk about METARs. I've got a couple of resources besides the online schools that you might use. You know, DronePilotGroundSchool.com, Remote Pilot 101, whichever ones that you're that you may be choosing to go through for your test. I wanted to bring you a couple of resources that I used to quiz myself on to learn to make sure that I had METARs down. There were somewhere between six and eight or nine questions out of 60 on the test that did specifically deal with weather. So today let's talk about METAR. So your METAR is your meteorological aerodrome report. And it's basically a weather forecast that you're going to see for an area given from a, um, usually from an airport or something like that. So one thing about them is that they're this string of characters and they can get to be a little bit confusing because you've got some things on there that seems like they'd be talking about clouds when they're talking about mist, some other things. So I want to show you two sites. The first one is where you can go and kind of do a flashcard type thing for yourself. So let's just jump right in. So I'm at the Aviation Weather Center, so aviationweather.gov. I'm going to put this link below so that you can click on this direct link to get to this page. And basically what you see is that you see a regional METAR plot and you can request METAR data. So to use this as a flashcard, what you're going to do is put an ID in. And the ID, unless you're dealing with Hawaii or Alaska, starts with a K, then the airport code. So you're going to put an ID in and you're going to ask it for it in format. That's going to give you just the METAR. Then go through, see if you know what it says, and then after that you can click the raw and it's going to define it. It's going to break it out and show you what it all means. So let's just put in my uh, hometown airport here, KSNA. That's uh, John Wayne Airport here in, in uh, Orange County. Just press enter. And we get this METAR back. So this METAR is right here. KSNA 312053 Zulu 2307 Kilo Tango 10. You know, we'll just go along this whole string here. So you can quiz yourself now. You can go, okay, well, I know that this is KSNA. It was given on the 31st day of the month at 2053 Zulu time, so UTC. Uh, the wind is coming from 230, de from 230 degrees at 7 knots. I can see for 10 statute miles. There's a few clouds at 2100 feet. There's a few more clouds at 4800 feet. And there's a broken ceiling at 25,000 feet. Uh, the temperature is 20 degrees. The dew point is 11. Uh, there's 30.02 inches of mercury for the barometric pressure. Remarks A02 just means that it's an automated weather station that has a uh, precipitation sensor. And then the other remarks, the other site that I'm going to show you will go through the remarks. You don't really need to know remarks necessarily for the test. I didn't have any questions. I don't know anybody that had questions pertaining to remarks, just the other pieces. So I've got this. So I went through, I, I have in my head now what I think it meant. If I just click on this decoded, then you'll see here that it tells you temperature 20 degrees, dew point 11, uh, 30.02 inches of mercury, sea level pressure, um, winds from the southwest, so 230 degrees, 7 knots, 8 miles an hour, um, visibility 10 or more statute miles, ceiling 25,000 feet, that's that broken at 25,000. So for the clouds, you can see few clouds at 2100 feet AGL, few clouds at 4800 feet AGL, broken clouds at 25,000 feet AGL. So let's go back to raw, let's just do one more. Let's do one that... Um, KCIC. So this is Chico, California, my hometown. Um, let's request METAR. So here it is. So at Chico, it's um, it was the thirty the thirty first day of the month. So today at twenty forty six Zulu time, the winds coming from one hundred and thirty degrees. True at twelve knots. Visibility is 10, 10 statute miles. There's scattered clouds at um, three thousand feet. There's an overcast at five thousand feet. Temperature is 15, the dew point is 10, and there's 30.04 inches of mercury. So let's hit decoded. Now you can see 15 degrees, 10 for the dew point, 30.04 inches of mercury. Winds from the southeast at 130 degrees at 14 miles an hour or 12 knots. 10 or more miles, the ceiling 5,000 feet above ground level. There's scattered clouds at 3,000, overcast cloud deck at 5,000 AGL. So right on. So from this in the test, the, the question that you might get looking at this, is um, from what direction is the wind coming? And it, it won't be, the answer won't be 130 degrees. So this is another reason that this is good to use, is that the answer to that would probably be from the south or from the southeast um, is where you'll, is what the answer will be. So just reading through these, you can get an idea. So when you think of 130 degrees, you know, you got zero to 360, 
130 is right in between 90 and 180. So that's south and east. You know, so if you had the only questions on your, um, the only answers on your test were from the south, the west, or the north, you would choose south, or if it was the east or west or north, because mine that I had that dealt with wind didn't say southeast. They actually said like south, west, north. And um, so you had to pick the one that was the most correct. So that is it there for METARS and getting help there. Go to the Aviation Weather Center, put in your identifier, so KCIC, K, whatever, and um, hit RAW. You'll get just the line for the METAR, hit decoded, you'll get it expanded, and you can quiz yourself there. You just do it over and over and over. And let's go to one more thing. So over here at the end of the METARS, let's go back to uh, KSNA, right? We have these remarks over here. So if you wanna know what these remarks mean, probably a good idea, you can go over here and I'll put this link in below as well. This is a, um, a key to decoding the US METAR observation report. And it has all of the pieces up here to begin with. So the station identifier, the date time, the report modifier, the wind direction and speed, the visibility, all of that weather phenomenon. So if we get down here to remarks, you've got this remarks section and all of these are the remarks that you might see on a report. So there's a lot of them. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to know these. I wasn't asked a single question and I don't know anybody that was, but good idea to know. So really quick video today, guys. I just wanted to give you some ideas for studying METARs a little bit further. So when you go into your test, you've got full confidence that you know what you're seeing, you know what it means, and you know how to move forward and pass through those. Um, stay tuned this week, lots of videos going. If you haven't yet, getting up close to 7,500, subscribe, go to this video over here. You can win a cam safe bag. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm going to do a new Lightroom video tomorrow, get some stuff coming up with the Typhoon H later this week, um, probably two Lightroom videos this week, and then I might start jumping into some video editing stuff. So you guys have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos.